welcome back guys in this lesson uh, we will uh, talk about facebook pixel and uh, i want to uh, give you an overview about what facebook pixel we'll do some study about the code that facebook gives us and that code we have to paste it on our website now it is very very important even before you run your campaigns you make sure that you put your pixel on the website right you can't you can't just avoid it or you can't just ignore it and say maybe after a week or a month i will do that no since i'm running only branding campaigns i'm running only awareness campaigns no still there's a possibility of people arriving to your website and facebook needs to be informed and you need to create custom audiences for that right and for that to happen you have to put the facebook pixel now why facebook pixel remember when a user is on Facebook, whatever it does on Facebook, Facebook captures it. That means you are constantly surveilled by Facebook for every action that you do on Facebook. But the moment you leave Facebook or a user leaves Facebook and comes to your site, Facebook has got no connection. That means Facebook cannot track that user anymore because he left Facebook's platform. But that person happens to visit your site. So whatever he does on your site, Facebook has no clue. But it would be really good if you can inform Facebook that those people who came to your site are, have done these things. And for that to happen, you have to have some connection. And that connection can be established between your website and Facebook servers by implementing Facebook's pixel. So Facebook pixel is a small JavaScript code. Remember JavaScript. A lot of people say, Prashant, if you want to become a digital marketing expert, you don't have to learn programming. Are you foolish? They have no sense. Digital marketing does not work if you have no idea about HTML and JavaScript. The very analytics tag, the very Facebook pixel tag, remarketing tag that you paste on your website is a JavaScript code. And come on, don't tell me programming is not there. No, you have no idea what programming can do for your digital marketing campaigns. And when you learn programming, you, you can create some amazing strategies and these people, you know, can't even think. I'm talking about people with years of experience. They have no idea. They have no idea what they can really do when it comes to, you know, creating Facebook campaign that drives amazing results. If you can really understand this concept called JavaScript, right? So programming is a core part. And uh, if you don't know, you can, you can join a bootcamp in our bootcamp. India's first digital marketing bootcamp, very, very high end. In fact, the most high end digital marketing program in the country. You see international students in our bootcamp. And again, we don't take everybody. We are very selective. We want people who are experienced. We want people who are sharp, out of the box thinkers or problem solvers. So yeah, so again, I'm not doing a sales pitch. I wanted to tell you that programming is very, very important and you got to, you got to really learn it, right? If not, now at least after five years, or maybe we'll make sure you put that in your book that you got to learn this skill. Now, so again, I, why I spoke about JavaScript is because to establish the connection between Facebook and your website, there's no connection. There's no card. There's no threat. But how will Facebook track what people are doing on your site? Facebook will be able to track what people do on your site only when you give them access, right? And that access can be given to Facebook when you put their code, their code, their tag on your site. So whenever people come to your site, the browser loads and browser loads the web code, right? So I hope you understand the entire ecosystem as to how browser, how server and user and the ad servers and marketing platforms interact. So I'm not going to teach about that. So when browser loads the web code, in that web code, they find this pixel and they send the instruction, they send a hit to Facebook server and Facebook keeps recording these things. So you have to install this. Remember, this is the first thing. It's foolish to create campaigns without installing pixel. So I would not go into, you know, how pixel can be implemented at a very high end. But remember, I'm going to take you through those things and I'm going to explain essentially about the code that we see. A lot of people simply copy paste the code. They have no clue what that code is all about because it's JavaScript code. But you got to really understand the dynamics, the functional significance of this code. And that is what exactly I'm going to speak about in this video. Right. So if you want to get the pixel, what you do, you go to the you know, sandwich icon that you see at the top. Right. And then you click on tools and when you click on tools, you have something called events manager in the events manager. You have pixels. When you click on pixels, that is a, this, this is the exact screen that you will see here. You see my screen. This is exactly what you'd see here now. What I have is I already have a pixel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a pixel. So I click on setup here and uh, Facebook gives you the implementation guide as well. So a lot of people don't even know that they simply want to continue and copy the code and paste that code on the site. And they think they're genius. They, they, they're, they're Facebook experts and they think they can implement you know, pixels. But bet, you know, you know, what we do with Facebook pixel, you can't even understand. You know, so that that high level, that that high level, you know, you know, because you know, you really understand the potential of what Facebook can do for your business when you work on e-commerce campaigns, right? And and what what e-commerce website gives you, you know, to to try and come up with innovative strategies, other websites generally don't give you. So you can only understand the innovative strategies and try and you know, you know, you know, use GTM at a very high end 
that's possible when you can really learn you know the 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 the, the, the what how important is it to google, google tag manager to implement pixel so i'm not going to talk about that I've, I've, i'm going to create specific videos on that but my video is only intended to show you the code pixel and the the significance of that let's do some study on that right so when you click on setup pixel choose how to install the pixel you can you can do it through a partner integration that means if you if you have a shopify store google facebook and shopify is connected if you have a woocommerce store you can you can connect that directly because they have connection they have they have the association but if you want to inst if, if, if you have a developer and you don't know how to do that you don't have access to the back end you can simply mail it to your developer and tell developer developer you got to put this code and the instructions will be in the email as well now so I will go and I say manually add the pixel to the site. When you click on this, it will give you this code. This is the code that is called as pixel. This is the code that you call it as pixel, right? So this is the code, right? So you copy this code. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy this code. Give me a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open a document. Allow me a moment. This is the code for Facebook. Now, when you when you see this code, when when you see this code again, right? So this is something which is ignored, which is ignored, right? So that means that just a comment kind of stuff. It is not read, right? Now it starts with script. You know why it is script? Because Java script, you want to implement it, you want this code to run properly on the site, then it got it got it got to be enclosed in the script tags. You call it opening script tag. Then you have the ending script tag, right? Now, so Facebook, when 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 website loads, it starts you know, loading these lines, and it it will invoke all the internal libraries of Facebook, the JavaScript libraries, right? And you see FBQ and many elements, right? Yeah. So when you come here, it is trying to invoke the JavaScript. You see here. The JavaScript library of Facebook right now so what it does is when you come here this FBQ initializes the pixel remember guys it initializes the pixel that means it says hey I have loaded all the JavaScript libraries and now let's initialize this pixel which pixel and this pixel will be connected to an ad account so whenever an information has to be sent it will be sent to this particular pixel that means this particular pixel is associated to one ad account and all that data would be there in that ad account you understood right and you should not be changing these values but generally what people do is they simply copy paste this code that is not how it should be what 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 you have to do is you have to you know, separate the script tags and the non script tags right so now if, if, if you're somebody who work on WordPress website, so what generally people do is they simply go copy paste this and go to tag manager account and in the tag manager account they create a new tag and select custom HTML and then simply copy paste the code. This is how we do it right. But remember, this is custom HTML. To, to transform it into JavaScript, the, we put it in script. But this custom HTML would not even run this code, which is no script. There's, that means there's no point in adding this not script because it's of no use it will not run now you might say why it will not run so people don't even know they simply copy paste but you have to understand the functional significance so if you put this tag which is no script in the custom HTML it will not work because it's a JavaScript it's got to be enclosed in scripts but why there is no script remember when anybody or you're all using browsers right probably using you're definitely using a browser to see these videos to use to, to, to browse through on the internet so there are two kind of people one people who disable the JavaScript in their browsers one people who access but the proportion of people who actually disable the JavaScript is very very minimal for example out of thousand people maybe maybe three people or four people might disable it but so generally what people think is if, if, if they put the entire pixel code whoever comes to my website Facebook will track it no Facebook will not track it it's wrong it will only track those people who have enabled JavaScript in their browsers because this code will load. On browsers where the JavaScript is not enabled, this code will not even load. That means how in, how, how in the world Facebook will get to know? That means Facebook will not get to know about every visitor who comes to your site. Facebook will know only about those people who enable the JavaScript in their browser. But how about those people who disable the JavaScript? 
and that is where this comes into picture. So what this no script does is, right, it essentially does not load. That is why we kind of take this small portion, but you still wanted to keep track of everybody. So what you can do is you can simply remove it from here, right, and go create a new tag. I'm not, I'm not creating it. So go create a new tag. And instead of creating a new tag and selecting custom HTML, you select custom image. So what this script tag will do here is, one second. So what you got to do here is you select the custom HTML. And when you come to custom HTML, you see the code here. You see the code here. You copy this code, the script, the no script tags, and you see the image ID. Let's let's let me move from here and you copy this. And you put this in here. So what this non script does is when the browser is disabled with JavaScript, it will load an image tag with one by one pixel, small pixel. So it's got nothing to do with JavaScript. So even though the web uh, browser is disabled with JavaScript, this image will load one by one pixel. And this pixel, if you observe this carefully, there's a query parameter here in this URL. You see, you see query parameter. So this query parameter will send a hit to Facebook and Facebook records that particular user as well. And that is exactly why Google Tag Manager has two tags, script, no script. Because if Google Tag Manager has to load on browsers where the, 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 the JavaScript is disabled, it will also load an image. And that is why GTM also has two tags, the script, the no script. The same functionality is applied here as well. So, so this no script will only fire on browsers whose JavaScript is disabled. Right. And again, here, let me talk about this thing as well. There's something called enable cache busting. So what happens is if person comes to my site and JavaScript is disabled, so this image will load in an iframe. It's got nothing to do with JavaScript in an iframe. So when, when that loads, you see the query parameter here that will send a hit to Facebook and Facebook will record it as a, as a visitor and a page view. Right. And if that person loads another page again, this time the browser will not set because it will be cached. Right, so it will load that image from the cache. So that means it goes to two pages, but the second hit will not go to Facebook server. And Facebook will not be able to track it. That is why Google Tag Manager, that's, that's the beauty of Google Tag Manager. And Google Tag Manager enables, gives you something called enable cache busting. So what happens when you enable this, right? Every time this loads, it will give you a new script. Sorry, new ID. And a new query parameter will be there. That means every time that image loads, it will have a new query parameter ID. And each time it will be unique. So each hit will be sent to Facebook. That's exactly what happens. That's why. It's important that you that to separate both of the tags. One you put in the custom HTML, which is the script. The other, which is the no script, you have to put it in the <clears throat> you have to put it in the custom image. And that too, you don't put the entire tag. You put the 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 actual uh, URL, the image URL. And again, this has to be fired. This has to be fired only on browsers where the JavaScript is disabled. Now, how would you find the if, how would you find if the JavaScript is disabled? How would you find if JavaScript is disabled on a browser? That is why you have a custom JavaScript. You write a custom JavaScript variable. You write variable. And where do you write the custom JavaScript variable? In, in, in GTM, there's something called variables. You select the variable type as the type of variable you choose is custom JavaScript. And there you write a function. And what this function does is, what this function does is, whenever JavaScript is there, it will return to true, true. If the JavaScript is not there, that means it is disabled, it will return something else. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this in custom JavaScript variable, this code, I'll just show you for a while. So I copy this, I go, I go to Google Tag Manager, and uh, in the Google Tag Manager, what I'm going to do is, I discard changes, I go to variables, in the variables, I select the type as custom JavaScript, see custom JavaScript and then you select here and then where is custom JavaScript yeah you custom JavaScript and here you write a function you write this function and there's a function which is available on the internet so you don't have to uh, write.
So what this what this function does is if the JavaScript is enabled, it will show true. If it is disabled, it will re return undefined. So what I'm going to do is I know on every page, wherever the browser is not having JavaScript, which is disabled, this variable. So for, for example, I say uh, JS enabled variable. I give it right. So it will this value this JavaScript variable will store hold, will hold a value called true if it is having JavaScript. If it is not having JavaScript, this will hold a value called undefined. And I'm going to use this as a trigger condition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a trigger condition, trigger condition called that that CJS uh, or JavaScript enabled trigger, right? I use a condition called does not contain true. When it will not contain true? When the browser does not have JavaScript. Only then it will not be true. Else it will be true always. So I will give this condition. That means I don't want the no script tag and the script tag to fire for same page. That's exactly why I'm trying to differentiate those people who have the JavaScript enabled in their browsers and the other people who don't have JavaScript. So this particularly for those people who don't have JavaScript enabled and I still want to track those visitors and that is happening because you load a small one by one pixel image, you see, right? And but remember when you implement this, you got to remember something called cache busting as well. So this is exactly why you have the no script tag in GTM as well. Because if, 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 if somebody comes to my website and I've implemented Facebook pixel or Google Ads pixel or analytics pixel through GTM and that person who comes to my website does not have JavaScript enabled, GTM will not load. That means analytics will not even be informed. But GTM also offers a solution. They also have a no script tag and that no script tag, what you do, you put it in the uh, you know, custom image tags, right? So that is, this is how you implement the Facebook pixel. And once it is done, what Facebook does is it starts capturing it. We will talk about how to create advanced uh, you know, audiences and all those things in the future videos. But for now, it is it is never recommended. It is, it is foolishness to create campaigns without installing pixels. With this, I sign off until next time. Thank you.